Hey guys, so it's Tracy, Tracy's living life after 40. So something I said I would do on this channel and I'm gonna get into doing that a lot more often is um, questions and answers, that kind of thing. So um, I did get some questions sent to me about life changing, uh, your skin changing, your eyes changing, your everything when you hit your 40s, you know, kind of goes whichever way it wants to. Um, I have noticed that my skin and that has changed a lot. However, what I like about the company Sephora, one, if you go on their website, they have free classes. People take advantage of these classes. Today, I took advantage of um, makeup, no makeup. So you went in and you just pre-register online or go into the store and you just literally, you just go in, they have everything set out for you. They have their disposable wands and Q-tips and everything that you need so that you're not cross-contaminating with anything else. And they work with you with your skin tone. So they teach you a little bit, then you do a little bit yourself, which is great because it's hands-on, you're learning, and they're there to support you. So again, today I took makeup, no makeup. So it was a lighter version of just doing your five to 15 minutes worth of whatever you're gonna do during the morning and out the door on a lighter version. And I really enjoy the class, really enjoy the class. Let me find their names. Um, Colton and, Colton taught the class and I think it's pronounced Shada. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. And she was the model and she was also helping people in between when they would do their own. Such, such a good job. They were great. Um, and you guys know I always ask a million questions. So anyways, I did before I went in there today, knew that I was really looking for, I travel a lot. So um, looking for a palette so it would be easier, less for me to lug when I'm going around all over the place. Um, I also wanted a new mascara because mine was getting old and I wanted to try something new. And I'm really into the lashes right now. Now I used to get my lashes put on. Um, with doing that, I just found that there's a lot of financial upkeep and stuff on it. And I wanted to look into putting the lashes on myself and I didn't, I didn't want like the whole baby doll boom kind of a look, but I wanted something natural but pretty and not heavy and hello, there they are. So yeah, anyways, I'll show you what I got. Again, look up all the classes and actually next week, um, the class is on lashes. So you would have to go in and purchase lashes because they have to know that um, they're freshly open so there's no cross contamination, that kind of thing. You, they, and they range in prices from $15 up. I purchased a pair today and they were, let me look, $21. And I know, and they're reusable guys. So I mean, that part of it alone is awesome. So actually I'll start with the lashes. So I got the, oh, let me see if I can, uh, yeah, anyways, they're not in there because they're all my eyes. Can you see? I don't know. I love them. But anyways, even if you don't want to take a class and you're going to buy false lashes there, um, all you have to do is ask for somebody to help you and they will even help you size them up right there in the store. They even put the little extras back into the case. So if you're wanting just a little something to something one day, then you know what? You got little pieces here. So um, mine were the plume. I don't hope I'm saying that right too. Lux False Lashes Sephora Collection. And they come in this nice case too, which is um, awesome because um, I have other false lashes that I've bought in other places and I can kind of put them together, kind of a deal. So anyways, these are the lashes I'm sporting today. And then I purchased um, glue from them. I have purchased lashes from other places that come with glue. Uh, I do like to reuse my lashes. So when I take them off, I actually take off the glue and I reuse them just a couple of times and get my money's worth. But I bought this one here. Okay, so Duo. And it's just a brush on glue. We used it today to put these ones on and it's clear. 
Um, I was buying black before because then I thought it helped with looking like with the liner, that kind of thing. But you know, I've kind of realized that I want to simplify it a bit sometimes too. And I can't get the box open. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's see. So yeah, this is it. Just a little tube. Tells you about how big it is. And yeah, duo brush on adhesive. And you know what? It works fantastic. I've used it before in store when I've gone in, had, you know, makeup done for an event, that kind of thing. And when I, I go to peel mine off, I'm just a peeler. Some people put the makeup remover on that. No, not me. I just take it off. But this comes off nicely and they're very easily reusable. So that's my lashes. That's my glue. So the mascara I went with today, um, I actually spoke with... Colton, just double checking his name again. Um, and he works at Market Mall. So if you're ever at Market Mall, check him out. He was fantastic. And I explained to him what I wanted in a mascara. Um, I have issues with some of the brushes. Some of them, I can find a mascara I love, the brush I hate. That becomes a problem because then you tend to not use it or are using disposables all the time. It's an extra cost. But um, Dior. Now I purchased this one today, Dior, so hard to see, I got windows all around me, but, so anyways, it is the Dior Waterproof, um, I like the waterproof, I just find that it stays on a little bit longer, it doesn't, I can tend to be an eye rubber, so yeah, it's nice, and I got Catwalk Black, Catwalk Black, so yeah, and you know what, let me open it up to show you the brush on this one, um, what I like about this one is he also suggested too that he likes to see people do three coats on top, one to the bottom, especially if you're using false lashes with it. And some people like to do um, their liner, their crimp, mascara, then the lash, which is the way I tend to do it. Some people like to do... Um, blend them together with the mascara. I reuse my lashes, so I prefer to do it just the opposite way. So anyways, here it is for you. Boom. Dior Show. And I love this wand. Um, let me see. There you go. It's so thick that even when I was brushing it on today, I didn't feel the need to go back through with a comb or anything else. And um, again, I use the wiggle and pull. I find it plumps them up more. But, so, okay, I couldn't decide on palettes. There's so many great companies out there. I kind of have a crush on the whole Tarte collection in that right now. But my other one um, is Urban Decay. I have had their products before. I'm not a huge showy makeup person. I like mine pretty subtle. So anyways, um, I was looking at, uh, I think it's called Naked Heat palette today. I think that's what it was called. I loved it. I loved it. It was all shadows straight across, all my colors. Yeah, I really liked it. But this one caught my eye and I'll show you why. So this one is also by Urban Decay. And this one is called Back Talk Eye and Face Palette. So, again, pull it out. This is what you're getting. However, it's a duo kit. So, actually, I'm going to start on this side. So on the bottom, you have your shadows. And then, as you can see, the mirror. And then the top... You have your blushes and your highlighters, everything you need, all in one. But the cool thing about it too is, dun, 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 the mirror comes out because nothing's more annoying than trying to do this when you're trying to do your makeup. It sucks. So at least now you've got this kind of a deal, right? So this comes in handy that it comes out. I love that feature. Thank you, Urban Decay, for thinking of that. The only thing this thing is missing is some brushes, 
I mean, well, we all know that we use our own brushes and stuff now, but the other kit I was looking at from them, and there was like a $10 difference. This was $10 more than the other one. Um, the other one kit did come with a nice brush, really nice brush. So yeah, Urban Decay, three thumbs up. Love this kit. Um, people, if you're into the warm, cool tones like I am, this kit, fantastic. Definitely worth checking out. So that was my haul today from Sephora. And yeah, please guys, check out those classes. There's like a whole list of them and uh, they're worth it. They're absolutely worth it. You can learn a lot from them. And if you learn nothing, you had a fun day out. Gotta like that. So anyways, I threw this into my little bag today. It's called Prada Candy Gloss. So it's a little sampler. Let's give her a rip. Ooh, perfume. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's nice. Mm. It's more of an evening to me. Ooh, I don't know. I like it. Anyways, thank you. Okay, guys, that's my Sephora haul. And yeah, I was really impressed today. Uh, Colton and, oh my God, I wish I could say her name right. I, Shada, Shada? I don't know. You were beautiful though, hon. Um, yeah. You guys rocked it. And thanks for all the extra tips. And I'm loving my lashes. So guys, Sephora, don't be afraid of it. Get in there, ask questions. They love to help answer your questions. They will show you how to use products. Absolutely worth it. Check them out. Thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, that little bell. You guys know what to do. Cheers guys, have a great day.